Uh, Saturday, January 17, 2015. This is a be kind to pets veteran educational video. This kitten actually comes in. What's what's the complaint? The stomach. The stomach. The stomach. The stomach. Okay. Uh, the complaint is that there's a big swelling below on the stomach area. Now, how long has this been going on? Just just a few moments ago. Uh, one month ago. No, no, just a few moments. Few moments, right? Yeah, yeah, just okay. So a few mm -hmm. moments ago. There's a kitten eating and drinking? I haven't haven't uh, eat. Only breastfeeding a mother. Still still drinking milk, huh? Yeah, okay. Suckling, huh? Yeah. Okay. How long you have this kitten? Uh this one one month plus. And she was okay, she didn't have this swelling? When she was born, he was born with swelling. He had the swelling. But, but it's okay, only this morning maybe he's playing with mother what the, the mother scratch or something then it's happened. Okay, so in this case, the diagnosis actually is the umbilical hernia. That means the the middle part, there's a big hole between the muscle and uh, the hernia, the intestines and fat all come out under the skin. But because I think the kitten has been licking it, you can see here, uh, you can see here uh, the kitten is licking it, so it's hairless. So the, the umbilicus is still there, but the hole is small. So now we see coming up the, the fat the abdominal fat momentum has come out so the solution is surgery you know, open up and then close up the hole because the muscle has opened up there's a hernia they call it the belly uh, belly button they call it the belly button is not closed during birth okay. uh, so that, that would be the treatment under anesthetic now the thing is that of course the risk is there because this is a kitten anesthetic risk so he may die or he may not die so it depends on how healthy the kitten is since you say it's only one day, right? Is it one day? Just happened one day? Just happened. It just happened a few okay. days ago. Okay, so we, the, we will clean up the, the, the area and then uh, look for under anesthetic gas and then stitch up the hole. How long is it? We stay about one night. You have to stay one night. If but not there, you can bring back at, uh, at uh, 4 o'clock. You mean I have to bring back home or now he has to stay here? No, bring back home, you can do it. It's just that the kitten must not be running around, just in a small place. I mean, just now you, you got said about the surgery or what? Surgery got close up the, the, the belly yeah, button. You, you, you are the one who do it, not yeah. me. Ah. No, not but you, of course you cannot do no, it. Now, now huh? I have to bring him back or what? No, no, we put here already, we have to do it. We could have but he's still breastfeeding, you know? Yeah, that's right. You can, you can go home now. Go after them. But oh, the mother, the mother may lick the stitch, you see. So, so if the best is that, how is this kitten now? One month plus. One month plus and go on dry, dry kitten food already. What you do is you put water inside and then you can let. So stop, stop suckling away from the mother. Otherwise the mother may clean up the, bite the stitch out. There's a stitches there. And then uh, it's very difficult to wear the e-collar in a kitten. It, it, it's quite difficult. So the best is, uh, although we will get, we will, we will put a plaster below to cover up the stitches. And then you just let the kitten eat wet food, like for example, uh, the, the kitten. Food. I already give him the food, but he doesn't want. He doesn't want to eat. Yeah, slowly you have to add a bit of. The brother only got two. Mm. He got another you one. Add the milk in. Oh. Add the milk in. Oh. If not, then uh, the mother will leave off the stitches, yeah. which is going to cost you money again. Okay.